What is going on everyone? Today we are diving into the depths of the artisan system and talking specifically about one of the three main paths you will be able to put your skills into to master. So let's get into it. Within the artisan system, there are three paths a player can progress down. Gathering, processing, and crafting. And within each of these paths are various professions that you can create in. But your path must be chosen carefully as only one of these paths can be mastered per character. But this doesn't mean that a master crafter can't gather, just that they will only go so far in it. The first path which we're talking about in today's video is gathering. When you set out to gather your herbs or your ore, you will need to have the right tools for the job, meaning a fishing pole for fishing or an axe for chopping trees down and so on and so forth. And once you set out, keep in mind that gathering does give XP to the nodes within the zone of influence that you are in. So if you're pushing for a certain node to level up, you might want to stick close to it for a while. As you'd expect, gathering means that you are setting out to find the resources that players would use to create certain things, basically meaning from the beginning you will help control the market, as everyone who is seeking to refine and craft will need your goods to do so. So in the beginning of a server's life, this artisan path will be the key to the economy. Like I said earlier, within each of the three paths, there are professions that you can participate in. For gathering, some of those professions are farming, which happens in your freehold. It is a time-based system, meaning you plant seeds and over a certain amount of time, your crops will grow and can be harvested. Think runescape farming. These items that are farmed can then be taken and processed into different materials, which would be using the second artisan path. And then these materials can be used for crafting, which would be using the third path. So you can see how each path relies on each other. The farming material doesn't have to be processed though, as it can be converted directly into consumables as well. Those who wish to dive into farming, the more you do it like anything, the better you get at it, which in turn will require you to upgrade your equipment. In farming, in farming's case, you can upgrade the size of the farm plots to be larger, along with various other plots such as a fishery. Where you place your freehold plot will also play into this, as the location is key if you want to dive into gathering, as placing your freehold near a river could give your crops a bonus as there is fresh water nearby. And you can expect even more unique perks depending on where you place your freehold throughout the world of Vera. Don't let your crops get in the way of raiding though, as you can hire NPC staff on your freehold to do things such as rotate crops, plant and harvest, and sell your crops as well. That way you don't have to give up your adventuring life to maintain your farm. Some of the crops that you will be growing would be mushrooms, potatoes, wheat, along with having the ability to acquire livestock such as cows and chickens, which will give you milk and eggs. Fishing is another profession in the gathering tree, having you set out to gather fish, obviously. Fishing is obviously the best profession any game can ever give you because I don't really have a reason why, but I love fishing in every game. But in actual Ashes, they may be doing it a little bit better. There is multiple types of fishing. Small game fishing, which requires little thought and is more of you just sitting there casting a rod and collecting fish like most games give you. Then there is deep sea fishing, which I'd assume you would need a ship to partake in. This system will rely on various mini games needed to be accomplished and may involve some more expensive equipment to get it done. There is also coastal and lake fishing, which is less interactive than deep sea fishing, but more so than small scale fishing, giving you a balance in between the two. There will also be fishing tournaments within Vera that you can put your pole to work to bring in the largest catch. The fish you gather can then be used for things such as furniture, clothing, costumes, potions, food, and more, and you could also potentially find some treasures while fishing as well. The next few professions, there isn't much info on right now, but you have herbalism, which has you setting out to gather herbs, which presumably would be used for potions and food. And there is also talk about being able to unlock house plants for your home through this profession. Then there's lumberjacking, which has you gathering wood, mining, which obviously has you gathering ores, and taming, which has you going out into the world to tame animals, which is a way to gain new mounts and pets through breeding in the animal husbandry system. For any of those gathering activities that have you hunting down specific things such as herbs and ores, these items won't spawn in the same spot over a certain amount of time. Once you mine it or once you gather it, it will respawn somewhere else in the world, so it's going to prevent people from just camping the same area to get all the ores. What are your thoughts on gathering in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you are new to Ashes, feel free to use my referral link in the description below to sign up 
app and create an account. This gives you access to the forms, allows you to purchase cosmetics or alpha passes, among other things. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.